Have you ever wondered where in the world Cain found his wife? Did he stumble upon a hidden tribe in the dusty plains beyond Eden, their whispers carried on the wind? Or did some divine hand, touched by his lonely exile, pluck a woman from the clouds just for him? Hold on, dear listener, for the answer might surprise you. No hidden tribes, no celestial matchmakers. The clue, like a faded inscription on an ancient wall, rests within the pages of the Bible in the book of Genesis. Turns out when Cain hitched a one-way ticket to the desolate land of Nod, he wasn't flying solo. He already had a wife by his side. The Bible doesn't say he found a wife, just that he knew his wife. Don't picture him stumbling upon a stranger amidst tumbleweeds. This was a bond woven before the dust of Eden settled on his weary back. So who was this enigmatic woman who shared his exile, her hand clasped in his as he walked the path of his own? Here's where the whispers of history grow louder. Remember Adam and Eve, the pioneers of Eden? Well, their family wasn't just the bickering duo of Cain and Abel. They had a whole orchard of children, a family tree bursting with life. Genesis tells us clearly, after he begot Seth, the days of Adam were eight hundred years, and he had sons and daughters. Imagine Eden, not as a lonely garden, but as a bustling family. If Adam and Eve were the only humans around, and if Cain didn't stumble upon a hidden oasis, then the logical, though surprising conclusion becomes clear. He married one of his siblings or nieces. Shocking, right? But back in that dawn of humanity, before societal rules solidified, such unions weren't uncommon. Thankfully, not the case anymore. But before you raise your eyebrows in judgment, hold on. There's a crucial twist. We all know the Bible forbids incest, but guess what? That rule wasn't laid down until 2,500 years later. Back in Cain's time, the world was fresh, untainted by the diseases and genetic dangers of later generations. So, marrying close kin didn't pose the same risks it does today. Now why does this seemingly personal saga matter? It's like finding a missing piece of a puzzle, one that reveals a bigger picture. Understanding where Cain found his wife isn't just about ancient family gossip. It's about affirming the core message of Christianity, the very foundation of faith. See, if Cain didn't marry a descendant of Adam and Eve, then the whole idea of everyone inheriting sin from them crumbles. And if everyone isn't born with that sin stain, then Jesus' sacrifice to redeem humanity wouldn't hold the same weight. Deciphering Cain's wife isn't just about ancient family trees. It's about confirming our shared humanity, our origin story, and the hope offered by Christ. It shows how everyone, regardless of lineage, is connected to the same family tree, the one rooted in Adam and Eve. And it reveals how Jesus' love extends to everyone, reaching across branches and leaves, regardless of where we hang on that tree. So, there you have it. The mystery of Cain's wife turns out to be a gateway to understanding some pretty big ideas about humanity, sin, and the hope offered by faith. Pretty cool, right? Remember, next time someone whispers about Cain's mysterious wife, you'll be the go-to expert. And who knows, you might spark a conversation that travels beyond family trees and delve into the grand narrative of faith, forgiveness, and the bigger picture of our existence. And hey, if you're curious about how the human race morphed from Cain's family into the tapestry of ethnicities we see today, that's a whole other chapter. Noah's flood, the Tower of Babel, and a whirlwind of migrations await. Stay tuned for more Bible adventures.